Hello and welcome back to Zoplay's Hand of Fate. I believe this will be the first time we encounter the Lizardmen. And it looks like we're also playing for some sort of wand over there on his right. So let's do it. The more you play, the more I wonder. What do you wonder? Jack of Scales. He's got curses, heavy arrows, in combat projectiles travel at half their usual speed, but inflict twice the damage. And Mana Drain, cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Okay. Half their usual speed and inflict twice the damage, cooldown times doubled. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Let's go into the deck builder and recommended. Now and get back out. Start. You have taken one of my symbols. But now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. I think you just might. Scales. I have saved the Lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. All right. Maze of traps, right off the bat. Let's go. Oh, he makes it extra difficult. Let's skip the little intro. There's some trap bushes. Let's get around those. Uh oh. There's poison right there. Jump! Yeah, is there anything right there? No. More trapped bushes. One of these. What's on the other side? I can't see. Alright. Let's get around those and jump through the poison. here go and diagonal no damage so far jump oh no oh <laughs> I don't know how that missed it went straight through my body no Wanted to try and not take any damage for as long as possible, and I lose it on the very first card. All right, so this is going to need dodge, dodge, dodge. Awesome. I have to like run onto the spike slightly and then dodge, because if I dodge too soon, then the last ones will hit me. Having survived the traps, you loot the chest. The dealer draws you two equipment gain cards. Draw three, keep I'm one. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Life's limb. Cut them where it counts, then finish them. Press left bumper to inflict a curse of weakening on enemies close to you. Strike a cursed enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. Hmm. And what are the others? Chains of Rage. Chains for armor, as you will. During combat, strikes sustained from bows and wands have a chance to restore your cooldowns. And then poison. This alchemist could have turned his mind to the creation of gold or wonderful substances to better mankind, but instead settled for crafting vile poisons. Disgraceful. 
Very disgraceful. I'm gonna go with the new A thing. weapon of precision. Unlike you, if you don't mind me saying. Okay. Dealer, this is getting out of hand. You are getting really rude now. I might just have to get up from the table and leave. As pleases you. Oh, it does please me. Not that you care. And armor of cold that freezes, or no, not freeze, but it, yes, it freezes things around me, but it doesn't freeze them in place. It makes them move more slowly. Great helm of reinforcement. There's no strength like hidden strength. This unique item upgrades the class of your armor from light to medium or from medium to heavy. Okay, let's take that. So now I've got well, probably medium. After opening the chest, the traps lay dormant and you make your way back to safety. Helpful priest. You want half my food? Sure. Want that huge success so we can get two blessings. Choose from these options. Awesome. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw two blessing cards. The gods look upon you favorably. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. New. Useful. Wow. That is useful. Receive one food for every lizard killed. I might just get that investment back. Stranger in the shadows. Aha! The Count enters the picture. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. On a dark moonless night, down a lonely road. You encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, taking out a bag of coins. Hmm. Do I want to give him health in exchange for gold? I'm gonna say yes. Hopefully it doesn't take max health. Just take just take some of some of my uh not max health, please. The stranger moves with unholy speed to grasp you, but suddenly recoils at your holy touch. Ooh. My blessing is affecting the card. The stranger writhes on the ground, smoke rising from his burns. Wow! <laughs> Attack, I guess. Take that gold anyway. You lunge forward and strike quickly with your weapon. The creature staggers back, then leaps into the darkness, leaving behind the bag of gold. The dealer draws you three gain gold gain cards. Ooh, that is devious. So he's like a vampire, he went to suck my blood in exchange for gold, but because of my holy touch blessing, he couldn't touch me. And then I tried to kill him, and I took his gold. How oh, very nice of me. Deeper towards our foe. Take the stairs. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Just try to be a little bit nicer to your uh, sailors. Dead King's Crypt Hall. rubbing. I'm not sure the dead fighting back makes this any more dignified. It's an ornate coffin. Draw two monster cards. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know. That one. Yes! Suddenly you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before you can, they can even react. 
Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Come on, lizards, give me some food. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys have shields. I have to like, shield block him to stun him and make him lift his shield back up. Shield block. Ooh, I got him by surprise, I guess. Reflect something here. Oh. No need to reflect if I keep stunning him. I can't reflect that. Not reflect. Counter. They aren't shooting anything. Counter, counter! Yes! Slice him up! They have a lot of health. I have forgotten what my weapon does. Oh, it curses them. They're cursed. Now let's hit them. <clears throat> and they die. I wonder if that was at all related to the curse. Dealer draws you five gain cards. One food. A little food. Not a great change, well, that's from the lizard, but man. enough to switch the odds a little. Five max health. Ten health. The pendulum can swing both ways. <laughs> Five more max health. Ratman hunting. Of course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. Six rats. Wish I had force explosion right about now. No! Oh! I dodged and still reflected it when I stood back up. I may have to do a quick jump cut at the end of this fight. Because it seems like I'm lagging a little bit. Peter might have decided to run something in the background that it wasn't supposed to. Oh, no! Reflect! Jeez, he keeps shooting! Counter him! One more! Disgusting. All well, these cockroaches. Three food. So I will do a jump cut real quick, make sure there's nothing running in the background, and be right back. It has been called the game of eternity that we play. I didn't think that meant you'd take forever to make a decision, mind. <laughs> well, don't worry, I am back. Uh, the only thing I could find was apparently Sea Cleaner was on. So hopefully turning that off will make it not be so laggy. Call for the priest! Get a little bit of healing. Heal wounds. 
15 health. Yes. And 10 more health. Sure, why not? I'm sure it cost, yep, a ton to remove the curses. And cost a ton to get blessings. I don't really have anything to sell except an axe, only worth four. If the goblin takes my life's limb, then I'll wish I had the axe. Can I buy some food? Let's just grab five and get out of here. Next card. It's a new one. Heroes Remain. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. Mm hmm. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the, that the deceased was a well loved figure. You are approached by a cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wondermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, Traveler? Take the hero's belongings or make an excuse? Sure, I'll take his stuff. Thank you, this will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had this artifacts, had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. A viking blade. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Uh, no, I don't want to equip it. Oh. It's tempting me to, um... And hurry! It's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. What? Ha! Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Hmm. Basically, it is... Okay, it just keeps giving me more, more stuff here. <laughs> Let me get this out. Basically, it's tempting me to steal this sword and shield from this dead guy instead of returning them to where I've been asked to take them. But if I don't return them, then that uh, heavy burden card will remove half of my max health. Oh, that's easy. It's right there. I'm going to go ahead and return it. Because I want the... Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. He's very ominously talking about me. Um, I don't want to reduce we my max... For a token okay. Now. I can't get any thoughts out. I want the token. I don't want to steal his stuff. You reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Return the hero's sword. Keep the dead hero's gear. Return. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have his shield? Return the hero's shield. Truly, you have done this almighty's work in returning this shield. Done the almighty's work in returning this shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who protected can fell those who trespass against us. Okay, card's token is now mine. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. And I got two blessings. First one is player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Very nice indeed. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. You have done blessed work this day. 
For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact, that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. Another token brings you closer to your goals. I guess I don't get the sacred artifact. That um, heavy burden curse better be gone now. Ladder escape. To continue forwards, you must first descend down a ladder and into the unknown. I wouldn't really call that an escape. Climb the ladder. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Ratman hunting. How many will I face this time? Six more rats. Except this time I will be doing triple damage to anyone that's stunned. Skip. Alright, counter! I'm not pressing the right buttons. Right. Oh, I can't counter. Counter! And then counter him. Hit him. Keep hitting him. Stun. I don't know if Shield Bash is actually stunning them or not. Probably not. Wow. It hit took took one hit on all four of those in as many seconds. Oh, didn't get anything for it. Traveling jeweler. Let's see if he has any jewels I'm interested in. Ring of Justice. Using a weapon ability causes the player to be fully healed and for the ring to be destroyed at the end of that combat. And Feathered Ice. During combat, press right bumper to create a blast of freezing ice centered on the adventurer. Cardinal Direction Daggers and Mercenary Contract. Uh, gold per hit. Gold on hit. Um, I don't know, do I want this? Maybe I, I maybe I'll want to freeze the lizards. Let's freeze the wiz the wizards. Let's freeze what the lizards. I just said freeze the lizards. 